Hey guys, I'm gonna be shooting again today. I have a 6.5 Grendel. Um, I got this upper from Palmetto State Armory, 20 inch barrel. It came with this scope. It is a Vortex Sonora 4x12. The ammunition I have today, I've got this Hornady Black. Um, they are both 123 grain. This one is 123 grain. ELD match and the other is the Hornady Custom and it's 123 SST and I've got a couple of little watermelons here I had some planted in the yard and they didn't quite mature uh, before the frost got them so I'm gonna be shooting these melons today also got a box out there in the field I'm gonna try to get this thing zeroed in and Group, see what kind of group I can get at 100 yards. So to get a better group, I might have should have got the lead sled out. I don't know. I didn't feel super steady, but let's go see how I did. So there's my group. Again, I didn't feel super steady I think that's decent um, of course those two are pretty close together but not bad I do need to do some more adjustment on that scope so I went and got the lead sled probably what I should have done to begin with I adjusted the scope a little bit gonna do some more shooting um, everything I've shot so far is the Hornady Black uh, the ELD match So there is the group I just shot. I actually I want it to be a little bit high at 100. So I want it to be zeroed at 200. But let me, uh, let me measure this. I think, I think you do it about like that. And actually, I squeezed the trigger a couple times when, I, when it was on safety. I felt like I was jerking a little bit too. But still, even with me jerking, I guess I got a few smooth trigger squeezes off. It's about a one inch group. I don't know if you measure from, I don't know how you measure, maybe outside, maybe something like that. Maybe that's how you measure. But anyways, about a, about a one inch group. That horn of the ammo. I adjusted the scope about five clicks up. Now I'm gonna shoot three of the Hornady Custom. So this group is not nearly as tight. Let's see what kind of measurement I can get on it. Over a two inch group there. Just for the heck of it, I may shoot three more. See if I can tighten that up just a little bit. So through my scope, I saw the first two hit right there. Then the last one hit way down there. So again, I don't know don't know why I'm getting such a, a wide group there. Measure that one. A little bit better. But still, still not as good as the, uh, the Hornady Black. So now, Got the GoPro set up. I got this melon on the box. I'm just gonna back up and shoot at it with the Hornady Black ammunition.
Well, guys, that watermelon just exploded. For some reason, I didn't expect that. I kind of expected the bullet to shoot right through it. So now I'm going to go set up that other melon. And as suspected, I've obliterated that watermelon as well. Well guys, it was fun to come out here and do a little shooting. I did manage to get one decent group out of the bunch and hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.